So we are in Kiete. We are staying here because we're doing the stage of the Giro E tomorrow from Kiete to the finish in Lakula. Um, and also this is the hometown of KOM jersey wearer Giulio Ciccone. And uh, yeah, we're gonna learn a little bit about him and talk about him in the show today. Since we haven't had a chance to get to it yet, today seems like a good day to tell the story of how Ian crashed the van. <laughs> I don't know, we should save this for another day, I think. Uh, well, well, let's do it now. <laughs> let's do it now. We were gonna play it off that uh, we didn't know what happened, that something, someone must have bumped into you in the parking lot, but then uh, <laughs> We figured oh. that that you know what that you know exactly what that is. Says, uh, oh, you you really hit that. It literally says, "Oh shit!" <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yep. Uh, wow. It was been around for two it days. It was two days old. We uh, we don't have a good example of the road infrastructure that caused the damage to the van, but so it was the road. The road infrastructure. In Bologna. There are these small, like, ankle-high, wheel-well-high concrete curbs that stick out from, like, all the walls, all the stairs, so that people don't run into the walls and stairs with their cars because all the roads are so small. If people didn't give them enough berth, then all the walls would just be destroyed. And it's a good thing to have these curves, because <laughs> the walls would be destroyed otherwise, these ancient walls. I gave this wall plenty of space, but... Obviously, I didn't see the small concrete uh, curb sticking out the bottom, so we came to a screeching halt. It should be noted that your initial instinct was to keep driving forward. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're stuck, you know, back or forth. Also, reverse on these vans is a little tricky. <laughs> uh, door, I mean, walls and temples. Thousand years old, roughly three, two and something. This is uh, sixth century before Christ, so about. Yep. Pretty old. Still looks younger than my car mouse. We were at an undisclosed restaurant yesterday. Today, we see a pool with palm trees. I think people will start to question if you're actually in Italy or if you're just on vacation. In 12 hours from now, you're gonna be on the bike. Tell us what you've got going on tomorrow. We are doing the Giro E, which is, well, we're, I don't think we're still quite sure what it is, but, we believe that it is a bike ride slash race that does all of or part of the Giro d'Italia in front of the Giro on Pinarello e-bikes. Apparently there are teams and there is a race element to it, but yeah, Michael's doing it too. We were signed up without um, 
<laughs> prior notice. Your second bike race that you've been signed up for against your will. Yeah, Michael. this is becoming a, a theme of this trip. <laughs> this. Hey, Michael's here. Let's make him race bikes. <laughs> Worked out pretty well the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. 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 That was a good one.